Why is relating to other people often so confusing and so complex for us? In today's video, I want to let you in on a secret to support you in finding compassion for yourself um, as well as inspiration and power for change in your relationships. Many of us can find it very challenging in relating to people. Um, we struggle with our relationships in our family. We struggle with, with those in our workplaces, um, socially as well with those in our neighborhood. Small talk with people in a local cafe as well. Um, we often look out at other people and wonder what they might think of us. Um, and we think about what's the right thing to do, what's the wrong thing to do. Um, and, and we just get very confused. Okay. Um, we look at other people and we think they know what they're doing, but, but why is it that I don't know what's expected of me or what I should do or what words I might say? or I should say, um, we reflect on our past interactions. We think ahead to future interactions um, and we try to work it all out. The more our thoughts go here and there, the more confused that we actually get. Um, and when it gets very extreme, we often pull back and we hold back from actually stepping into those relationships or we try to control and manage them in advance. It becomes very complex beneath the surface. Even if we can hold like a calm and pleasant facade on the outside, um, the challenge within can often be very tough and difficult for us. So what is it that we need to do? What is the secret to moving forward? Well, the secret that I want to bring to you today that you can start to use immediately to start to support you in how you relate to the people in your life is in fact an awareness technique um, that will transform consciously your relationships with others and your relationship with yourself. So I want to posit an idea that is the crux of this technique. The thoughts that you think other people have about you, those that are negative, those that are judgmental, are in fact your own judgment your own projection from the past that you have not been able to cope with. Um, and so you have pushed it out of yourself and on to the other person. So I'll take an example. You might think that someone at your workplace thinks you're boring. Every single time that you are in their presence, you're fearful of what you might say. You, um, you think that they think you're stuck in your work and you don't have something fun and exciting to say. Um, you consider that they don't want to talk to you because they see you as, as boring, okay? In this situation, what in fact has occurred is that the judgment that you feel the other has of you originated within yourself. At some point in your past, you judged of yourself that you were boring. You struggled with it. You had great pain over it. Um, and to deal with it, you pushed it out of yourself and you projected it onto other people who then reflects reflect it back to you, okay? So, so just take a moment to slow down the thoughts and allow yourself to consider that that is what you're doing when you feel judged by another person. Um, so this is in fact the crux of the technique, as I said. 
So I invite you to do this time and again with the thoughts of judgment that you feel that other people have towards you. So the awareness process that will truly support you in transforming your relationships is as follows. Firstly, acknowledge the thought you have about the other person, the judgment that you think that they have of you. So for example, he thinks I am arrogant and he doesn't like me. Then secondly, invite yourself to see this judgment from a different perspective. And what I'm saying that you're doing in this is that you are taking back your projection. So take what you thought he judged of you and turn it around. In this example, you would reframe as follows. I fear that I am arrogant and I don't like me for it. It's kind of the opposite, the flip side, the ownership, the personal ownership of the initial judgment that you felt the other had of you. So then the third step is to hold on to this reframe to sit with it. Don't just accept it as completely true, this reframe. See if it resonates with you. See if something, anything comes up within you, if any emotions arise with the reframe. See if an, a memory might arise within you as well. But do not judge what arises. Simply allow it and acknowledge it. At this stage then, step four, ask for wisdom from within about the thoughts and the memories that have arisen within you. Again, stay calm and at peace. Do not judge yourself. Do not condemn yourself for what arises. Simply have an awareness of them and allow a response to arise from within you. And then fifth, when you are ready, when you've taken the time, come to a place of release, release of the judgment. And this is a release of the judgment that the other person had on you, very much so you're releasing that. But prim primarily, you're releasing your judgment of yourself. So that is the technique. It's those five simple steps. And you simply take your time and bring your awareness to each one of them. And doing so, you will release compassion for yourself and for the other person. At the same time as releasing the resistance that you had between yourselves. And also, power will come from within that will support you in transforming and changing your relationship. It may seem simple. Um, it may seem too easy to be true. But if you learn this technique, if you use it time and again, with the judgments that you feel that other people have towards you, you will completely transform your relationships um, to others. But as I say, so much more to yourself. So that's what I wanted to share today. Um, I find this technique personally liberating and transformative in my own relationships. And it continues to be so every single day. So I invite you to take a chance, give it a go, learn it, develop it, um, and, and see what freedom it can bring to you. Um, thanks very much for watching today. Um, if you feel so inclined, please press the subscribe button. It helps me a lot. Um, it's great that you've watched today, um, and I'll see you very soon.